Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about oil. Yeah, oil is moving into the desired and expected direction, at least short term. So far, it's adhering very well um, to this Elliott wave triangle count here. So we explained in the last few videos that what we're doing here seems to be an Elliott wave triangle where price bottomed in a so-called W wave on the 20th of March, moved up in a corrective X wave, and we're now in this Y wave to the downside. That's important to know because a Y wave typically is a three wave structure. And that means we have within this structure an ABC structure. And I'm counting the move down as an A wave, which is the first wave of a correction. So again, the first wave of a three wave structure within the Y wave. Then we're looking at the B wave here. This is the wave in which we currently are. And then one more low in the C wave. So I'm looking at prices for oil eventually between 50 and $60 maybe could change still. So we're going to take it as we go. Yeah, and we have to adjust. It's a bit of a moving target. But at the moment, the overall target would be further to the downside. In the very short term, however, there is a potential to rally a little higher because this particular B wave that I said we are in consists again of three waves. So you can see here this circle wave B that is currently highlighted here just above this resistance area. And I said in previous videos that it would look much better if we get one more wave here to the upside before we come down. And this B wave is again, it's a three wave structure, A wave, B wave, C wave. Now, if you're wondering, okay, this B wave consists of more than five wave, uh, of more than one wave. Yeah, of course. I mean, again, it also consists of a structure, again, a corrective structure. And in this case, I chose to count it as an Elliott wave triangle. And it seems to be following that indeed. So the idea that we could move higher is so far correct in the short term, because um, ABC in wave B and the B wave in in the B wave is a triangle, A, B, C, D, E. Important for a triangle is that every, that we're making lower highs and higher lows. And that's exactly what price has done. And then you would expect typically price to break out to the opposite side of the E wave. So it would now need to break to the upside. Um, until we have, however, a break above the D wave, which is at $77.20, we have no indication at all that the triangle is breaking into the expected direction. So it could still get invalidated by breaking to the downside or it could just extend further. And the confirmation for the breakout we only get if we break above the B wave high that is at $78.70. And then we should head into resistance between $79.50 and $84.11. And only above $84.11 something more bullish is going on. A uh, triangle will get invalidated if price breaks below the A wave low at $72. No, one second, that's $71.40. Um, but again, also that wouldn't be a massive problem because overall the trend is down and we eventually look for lower prices. So in summary, I'm looking for lower still. But it is very likely that we see a short term upside before we come down and that would be confirmed if price breaks above the B wave high of the triangle, and that is at $78.60. Now let's also take a look at the WTI chart. Um, it is a very, very similar chart. The wave count is basically the same. What you need to understand though is that the price levels are slightly different. Also here, triangle count basically working out at the moment higher lows, lower highs. Here the triangle is a little le less obvious. It could also be just a WXY structure in wave B. But also here one more high in this larger B wave would be likely. Resistance between 73.56 and 79.22. If price breaks below 66.90, then I think we're heading down directly. Yeah, and that is my view about oil. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.